Hi, it's Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and I wanted to do a video on our bias indicator. This is the indicator on MT4. We've just released it for MT4. It's available on a lot of other platforms. Now this looks up a time frame, looks at three points of control and lets you know whether that time frame is bullish, gives it a green, uh, it gives it yellow for a neutral and red for bearish bias. So this helps you make trading decisions on signals, uh, signal generators. So whether you're using our auto harmonic indicator or just anything else and you're looking for uh, confirmation of those signals. So for example, this crab pattern here, this is the five minute euro US dollar. The crab pattern finishes in the automated completion zone, the D pivot finishes, and in theory, this is a long trade. But look what the bias is telling us on a higher time frame. It's automatic. It looks up up a couple of time frames and tells us where that bias is. And it's red, it's bearish. When that D pivot finishes, it's all bearish. We're not gonna take the long and see how that just continues. We go from bearish to neutral, there's still no long there. We need a confirmation where the bias on the highest higher time frame actually goes bullish. And that's what it is. It's a go no-go gauge, if you like. You're only looking for short signals when the bias is red. You're not looking to trade at all when it's neutral yellow, and you're only looking for long signals when it's green. So even though we get a great harmonic pattern finish here. We've got no confirmation from our bias. Let's have a look at another example. So in this example, this is a 30 minute on Euro US dollar. We get this Gartley pattern finishing the automated completion zone, but look at the bias at this stage. It's neutral. We're not looking for the short, but look what happens then. We go bearish bias on this candle. Okay, so we're a little late into the game, but we've got that confirmation. Look how far this goes down then. Okay, that's where that bias really comes in. Uh, again, I'm just using the harmonic as an example here to, to show you where you got that no go, no go, go gauge, if you like, from, from the bias indicator in that uh, this was a great Gartley pattern that finished the automated harmonic pattern completing the completion zone. We were looking for the short. But sometimes there's no trade there while that bias on the higher time frame. So we're on the 30 minute. This is looking up a couple of time frames and telling us the bias is neutral. It's the market is undecided on those time frames. But then we go bearish on the higher time frame. And yes, you're late into the game in this particular case. But look how much further that goes. So you, you miss this chunk of chunk of move, but then you get equally as much once the bias goes bearish on that higher time frame. Let's look a look at another example. Okay, another example here is US dollar Japanese yen on the five minute. This looks up to the, the, the bias indicator looks up to the 30 minute here and lets us know where that bias is. So I'm using the extract this time. So extract is a signal generator that, that we developed for MT4 and lots of the platforms, just like the harmonic pattern, but this time it works on a different set of parameters. But we can see here when we get this five and six star cell on the top left here, our bias is bearish. We take the trade, okay, and the bias stays bearish until it goes neutral here. We get five and six star cell here, but we go neutral pretty much straight away. We're not, and again, when we're looking for the entry, we've got to go through a recent pivot low, so we're not going to take this trade. We get a six star cell here neutral we don't really take that until we get to this point here we get a five star buy here we're, we're mainly look at all these reds here we're, we're in a bearish state but the bias is bearish here we are not looking for longs really because when you look at it as a percentage wise the red uh, up to any point here is you know 70 80 percent of of the color here there's a bit of yellow, no trading, and a tiny bit of green that's dotted in there where it's trying to push, but it's not really on that higher time frame, consistently looking for that bullish um, bias, if you like. So we're only really looking for short trades in this instance. That bias is telling us that, hey, 
really you should be looking for those shorts and those shorts work out pretty well in this case let's have a look at one more example okay so last example uh, I've chosen the 15 minute on gold uh, XAU Australian dollar okay a little bit different um, but I just wanted to go through the reasons to trade and the reasons not to trade with the buyers now we can see here on the 15 minute we get a five star sell signal from the expert okay but when we look down here we can see this is a signal candle we are green okay we're going from green to neutral to green so we just need to be a little bit more patient so if we're a little bit more patient and wait for the six star candle we can see that now bias is bearish so we can go short and the short works out extremely well we then get a pullback we've gone from bearish bias to neutral to bearish to neutral to bearish but on this candle we've gone back to bearish again okay so we can see that the bears are stronger on the higher time frame uh, than the bulls um, we've got some neutral in there but then when we get a four star buy signal here let's just put that one in on this candle okay we we're bullish but look what's come before we're bearish 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 we've got a few candles that have pulled up but we're nowhere near this and then we're coming down again we go we've got a five star buy but we've got a bullish bias we've got a bearish bias we've got a neutral bias it's multicolored we, we, we're in we're, there's there's indecision we don't know where we're going that bias on that higher time frame keeps changing from bearish to neutral to bullish to bearish to neutral it's you know it's multicolored it's the, the at this moment in time we don't know where we're going until we get five star sell here on this candle again a lot more bears now but I still wait until we get another signal we get a six star sell now the bears are outnumbering the neutrals and the bulls we go short okay then this is the crucial part this is where we turn around so we've had all these bears we get a five star buy here that's our first bullish candle again I always only take six stars for me personally so then we get a six star buy on this candle now we're, we're solid green we're solid green it, this is turning around we take the long okay rear all the way up to here so there's some cases where we're going bullish bearish neutral the bias is in in you know it's, there's, there's indecision there um, so when we get that solid block of uh, bullish or bearish and they outnumber the others then that gives us a good indication of the direction on that higher time frame to help us with signals on the current time frame we're on so this is the 15 minute uh, for gold um, it could be that um, you know on the 30 minute uh, we are bullish or, or bearish bias or neutral and that's what gives us the, the aid if you like to trade those positions on the current time frame we're on uh, and also not to trade those those trades okay so here with with these long signals we're not we, we just keep changing the color I keep repeating this because it's very very important it's the solid blocks that we like to see from those earlier trades when we're changing we get initial signal here we wait because that's still bullish bias here but then we start to go bearish 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 so this is where we got the bias and that's where the trade is hopefully this helps 
Remember, this is the bias indicator down at the bottom here for, for MT4. It's available for lots of other platforms on our website. Please subscribe to this channel uh, because I'll be doing lots more trading videos in the future.